Hey guys, welcome back to another delicious low carb recipe. Today's chicken fried cauliflower rice is so good, full of veggies, full of Asian inspired flavors, and making it is super easy. Everything you need is right here on my board. We have sesame oil, green and white onions, soy sauce, grated garlic, it's just a lot quicker than chopping it up, carrots that I've diced up, frozen peas, and the star of the show is our cauliflower rice, which if you want to make your own, I have an entire video up here showing you how to make cauliflower rice in your food processor, grating it by hand, all the details up there and below the video. Also, our chicken. Chicken is the protein for this recipe, but if you don't have chicken, you can use beef. You could also use pork, pork fried rice, shrimp fried rice, which I have a full video on how to make cauliflower shrimp fried rice also on this channel. So um, let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is cook our chicken. Typically, you could use vegetable oil, but I'm going to use a little of the sesame oil just to give it even more flavor that I just, I mean, simply, I love the nuttiness of sesame oil. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to my pan, leave some for the rest. And I have chicken breasts that I've thawed and diced up. If you wanna know how to thaw chicken breasts quickly because you wanna make this video, I've got a video for that too. Check it out up here or in the description box below. Okay, so now that my oil is distributed on my pan, I can start smelling the nuttiness already. I'm gonna put my chicken. Now it's going to take about eight to 10 minutes to fully cook these chicken pieces, and you do wanna cook them all the way through because we're gonna take them out of the pan and simply add them back in at the very end to heat them through. All right, let's cook this through. All right, so now that my chicken is fully cooked, I'm going to take it out of my pan onto a bowl or a plate. Back to the same pan, we're gonna add the rest of the sesame oil and the white part of our spring onions. I'm also going to add some garlic, because garlic is very fragrant. And you just wanna toast this up a little when you start smelling the garlic. You are gonna put in your carrots. Now you can buy uh, frozen carrots and peas already mixed. You can use canned carrots and peas. I quickly heated these up in the microwave for about two minutes just so they would soften up because carrots are really dense and they take a much longer to cook. So this way, this is a super speedy meal. All right, so after a few minutes, the next thing we're gonna do is add our cauliflower rice. This is uncooked. I just grated it in my cheese grater and in it goes. You're gonna to wanna to toss this together. Up next, we're gonna add our chicken back in to the cauliflower and the veggies. Now, if you use frozen peas and carrots that are already mixed together, obviously you would add them at this point. So we're gonna mix everything together. Now, something I like to do is put on a lid so the heat and the steam from the veggies can cook down quicker and it softens up my cauliflower. Now, if you just don't see the steam building up, you can also go get a little bit of water, add it to the middle of the pan, and then put on the lid. Our final step is just to add our soy sauce right over the top. Give everything a quick toss. Okay, so now our green onions right over the top. And I like to place the lid on top just to wilt them for a second so that they're not super crunchy. All right, guys, shall we try this? Woo, smells so good. Let's give this a try. All right, so I'm gonna check this out. There, are, there is cauliflower rice and veggies right in every bite and a lot of chicken. Mm. It's so hot. I could never wait. It smells so good. So good is definitely a recipe you've got to try. The link to the recipe is in the description box, as well as an entire playlist made with clean eating recipes, low carb recipes, how to make a cauliflower rice, how to cook it, all that good stuff, right next to that red subscribe button, because when you click it, you and I get to cook together every single week. See you next time.